Number 51, letter A. Find the angle between the first minima for the two sodium vapor lines, which have wavelengths of 589.1 and 589.6 nanometers, when they fall upon a single slit of width 2 micrometers. All right, so this is the minima formula uh, for a single slit diffraction. So basically what we need to do is create two equations, right? D sine theta is equal to m lambda, and this equation will represent the details for lambda 1. And I guess we'll call this wavelength maybe lambda 1. So this would be the right the order, the first minima, and this would be the that angle associated with it, and that would be the uh, d uh, distance between the slip. And then we would create a second equation, right? D sine theta is going to be equal to m lambda. And now this will represent the second wavelength, so maybe we'll call it lambda 2. So 2, 2, 2, and 2. Now, when we compare these two equations, so we could do this in a couple of ways. Um, what is similar uh, between these two equations? Well, the distance between the slits, right? That's unchanging. So although I call that D1 and D2, they are indeed the same. So just erase the one and erase the two. Okay. And then what about the, uh, the order or basically what type of minima? We're talking about first minima. So the M's, although I labeled it M sub one and M sub two, that was just to uh, you know, show the relationship between the wavelengths, but they are indeed the same, so you can erase them. Now, to solve this problem, what you can do is you can basically now, you can do a couple of things. Um, we have to find the difference, though, between them, right? So maybe why don't we solve this for, I don't know, theta 1, okay? So you would divide the D out, and then you'd have to take the inverse sine of both sides to get rid of the sine on the left-hand side, right? And then that is just a division, that would then get rid of that sign. So now the same thing would happen to the this equation on the right hand side, except I'm just going to erase it, make make it easier on myself, and this is going to be inverse sign now of then m lambda two all over d. So if I want to find the distance between them, right, uh, I could just subtract them, right. Now instead of doing that, why don't we just calculate it first? All right, you can. Plug this all in at the same time if you like, it really doesn't matter. But let's do the inverse sign, make sure your calculator is in degree mode. We'll start plugging in the M value, the M is one. The wavelength there for the first one is gonna be 589.1 times 10 to the minus ninth because those are in nanometers. Divide that then by the distance of the slit, that's two micrometers, so take that and multiply by 10 to the minus uh, six. Don't forget to write your inverse sign there like I almost did. Don't be like me. So 589.1 times 10 to the minus 9th divided by 2 times 10 to the minus 6th. And here we get basically an angle here of 17.13056, whatever. And then do the second one now. So theta 2 here will be equal to inverse sine of then 1 times now 589.6 times 10 to the minus 9th all over then 2 times 10 to the minus 6th, and plug that on in. Basically just going to go back and tweak that 589.6 this time. So this is 17.1455, you know, 4, blah, blah, blah. And now what would you do to find the distance between them? You would just subtract, right? So take the larger one over here, theta 2, and subtract it by theta 1. Doesn't really matter if you did it the other way. Your answer would have just been negative, but essentially we're taking the absolute value. So the difference here in those angles is going to be 0 0.0149 or 150, I suppose, degrees, if you're round, right? Remember, I'm using exact and uh, values. <coughs> so, okay, that would be letter A, and then letter B. What is the distance between these minima if the diffraction pattern falls on a screen one meter from the slit? All right. So we just have to, so basically what we're doing here is uh, it says, uh, what is the distance between these minima? Okay. So this would be the angle between the minima. Now we basically realize that here's, let's say the single slit. And what we just calculated now is we just calculated this angle. So we know that and we can kind of make a, this into a, basically a little bit of a, of a right triangle if we wanted, make our life easier. We're approximating here. So that angle in there is going to be 0 0.0150 degrees. All right. Now, uh, 
it wants, uh, so it's also asking us then, uh, what is the distance between the minima? Okay, so meaning this now, we're going to solve for the y, if the pattern falls on a screen that is one meter away. So this is one, okay, because the screen here is one meter. So what does that look like to you? It looks like tangent, right? So tangent of that angle should be equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. I want to solve for the opposite. In other words, I want to solve for y. So just plugging in, let's say, y and x, then solve that for y. So it's going to be tan theta times x. And then just plug it in, tan of that value now, 0 0.015 times then the x value of 1. And uh, what do we get? So inverse tan, not inverse tan, sorry, just tangent of 0 0.015 times 1. And this works out to be 2.62, I guess. So y here is going to be equal to 2.62 times 10 to the minus fourth, and that's in terms of meters, right? That's 0.2 millimeters or, you know, 262 micrometers, whatever you want to do there, but that's what it is. Um, discuss the ease or difficulty of measuring such a distance. You can't see it with your eye. You need some type of, you know, apparatus to uh, enlarge it like a... Uh, magnifying glass, or I don't think a good pair of glasses would work. It's too small. But remember now, as I mentioned prior, this is actually an approximation. All right. Uh, this answer is an approximation. So how would you have done it like definitively now? Okay. Well, you would have had to have set up now two triangles, basically. Uh, let's say one that looks like this. And instead of that angle being that, what you would have done is you would have plugged in one of them, 17 point one, three, zero, five, six. And then you basically would have set up now an identical problem. Okay. So let's say here's the second one now. All right. But instead of that angle being the 17.13056, it is now the 17.14554. And what you would then do is that these two now y's, we can call this, you know, y1, and this is y2, because they will be different, because the angle's different. So what you can then do is find y2, find y1 via the same method that we did, okay, and then subtract them, okay, because that would then be the difference between the two minimum. That would be the exact answer. So it's going to work out to be like 280, I don't know, 6, 7, somewhere around there times 10 to the minus fourth uh, meters. So it's a little larger than this number, but I'm gonna let you do that on your own. All right, it's fairly straightforward, and I think you got it from there. Okay, so just keep in mind that this was an approximation. Um, you know, and sometimes it's just faster to do things that way. It depends if, you know, you're getting into the, if you're plugging it into a computer program, which, you know, you should be thinking about what you're doing there. Um, it might not like that answer. Um, so. There you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please help us out if you can, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.